Okay, so let's make the pillow. We'll save file, save scene as. We didn't increment and save, so we'll do a 0 0.01 here. As long as you type in 0 0.01, 0 .ma, you'll be able to um, increment and save without doing anything other than clicking the hotkey or clicking on a, the increment and save inside. So the pillow is going to be uh, probably a sphere or a cube. We'll do with cu we'll do with a cube, I think. That'll be kind of the easier one <laughs> overall. You make these shapes, you have a lot of different shapes you need to be able to make. So we'll take our um, width here, we'll middle click and drag on that. And we'll take our height and we'll middle click and drag on that. And this is kind of what we're at. Let's add on some divisions on the height. And we'll add some on the width. We'll need some on the depth too. The depth is not really there. We'll just do two for right now. And then let's see what we got. We got, that might be deep enough. Do a 1.5. We'll probably end up adding more to this, but you want to start out light. You don't want to go crazy with your divisions because it's harder. It's going to be harder to make things. Go to vertex. And just kind of scale this out so that it fits this size here. Scale it in here. We'll do both of these up here. There. Um, you can ignore the drawing, you can kind of, kind of figure out like where you want to put things. So it's more bulbous there. Drag this down here, we can drag this up here. Scale that one from the middle because it needs to be narrower from the front too. So go this way here. We won't worry about that yet because I'm going to want to add in an edge in here up here and we'll scale this one and then this one here we can also scale and it'll be like that right so when then we can kind of come to the side view and just sort of we want to taper this stuff this is going to be going to vertex this, this is going to be narrower up here because the volume is going to be pushed down more uh, so this will be wider out here, All right? And it's similar here. This is going to be narrower on the top and wider on the bottom. Um, yeah, we'll make these narrower still, so you kind of get an idea for them. Um, then obviously, you know this. The shape is rather weird here, so we can kind of pull that up. Maybe push this in a little bit, rotate it, pull it down. Maybe pull this one out. All right, cool. Um, that's a good start. We want to, I want to round this out in the middle. Take the faces here and pull that forward. Otherwise it's gonna be really square. And the same thing on the on the sides too, actually. Go to the edges here and here, and we'll scale this in. Let's do the same thing on the back. And we'll scale that in over here. So it's more rounded. It looks more like a pillow sort of a shape. Okay. And then, um, let me see. So you can see that change everything, right? So you can always go to the vertex, kind of pull this back out. Same thing up here. We'll have to add more more edges, so grab this, add an edge here, add an edge here. As I said, we're going to get into more of this stuff. Uh, we can maybe rotate this and kind of pull it down so it sags over. What I want it to do. 
maybe scale that out a little bit, push up just a little bit. Don't go crazy with it. And then we want to pull out these uh, the corner pieces. So just go to your faces here. Just gonna select that across there and pressing. Make sure you have W turned on. Hold Shift and you can drag this out. And you can rotate that over. Same thing over here. Scale it. And then rotate it. Hmm. Here. Maybe we'll do both. And then we can rotate it. I'm going to add an edge in here, and then we'll scale that in. And then we can have those little, little shapes that come off there. I'm going to use the multi-cut tool to add an edge over here on this side. Holding down control, you can add an edge loop in. And then you go to edge. You can pull this up. Go to vertex. Go back to the edge here. Scale it. Then you have that sort of a shape there. Let's go to the faces here. We'll scale these in. Take this edge here and I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Kind of get this shape to work. Those edges have to be sort of on top of each other. Here. Pull this down. So we'll come over to the side here. We have to make these narrower. Let's go to face. I'm going to select those faces there. And then I'm going to scale them. Same thing here. Select these faces. Scale them. OK, and then I want to add an edge loop around there and scale that in. Let's go to edge. So we'll click it, scale it in. Give it little ears. And then edge, scale it. Then we have all of the little ears and such on there and everything. Take these faces back here. I'm going to pull them out to round this over. Maybe take this one out too. Get that to be round. I'll scale this one down. Move it in. Let's go to these vertex here and here. Get both of them. No, I only got the one. 
Tie those in. You could, to simulate this wrinkle in here, where it's kind of folding over, what you would have to do is add in an edge here. And you see that kind of squares off this, so I'm not too happy with that, but then you could add in and tuck this in. Maybe rotate it. See how that squared these off. Don't like that. Let's, uh, Take these edges. I'm just sliding it down by holding shift and control. There you go. Try sliding that. So we'll move this, just move it back. So you end up with these weird quads here. Trying to keep that from being too square. Just correct that a little bit. All right. Uh, I'll make this rounded by having it sag over here. So it's not square. Same thing in the back, too. You know, in the back, it probably doesn't need to be tucked in like this because, um, let me fix that. Because it's strapped to the pole, it's not strapped to itself. So it's not going to be, let's grab the faces, it'll be faster. So we would want to take like the face here, maybe, and push that in. This edge here, push that in. Just move the stuff. So you can move back against the pole and then um, see how where you need to push things here for example obviously these edges right here Then we can strap it onto the, the pole. So we'll do that with uh, another, we'll use the torus. So the torus shape is the little ring. So we'll grab the little ring shape. There it is, torus. And we're going to bring this up here. And we'll obviously we need to change the section radius. Point 0.1 is probably too thick. And point zero 0.08 is fine or better. Number of divisions on the height, I definitely don't want that many. Let's go with eight. It's kind of the minimum you need. And it looks like the radius could bring brought in a little bit, so 0.8. Looks pretty good there. Okay. And then we can maybe reduce this down to like 16. That should be the fewer the better when we start when we're starting out. You don't want as many, so go to edge here. Double click it. And bring it in. Bring these in. Bring 
this in here. Obviously, this has kind of got a weird angle on it. You want to make sure you don't have any weird angles, right? It's going to go. It's going to go straight from the pole to the pillow. So it's not going to bump out or bow out. Maybe, mm, no, I'm gonna just slide this edge closer. I was gonna, I was gonna delete it, but I think these would be, be, would be better if we slid them by holding shift and control. And then we can kind of bring this, it might sag in from, from being so tight. It might sag in a little bit, make that sag in a little bit. And then, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter. No, the whole thing, come on, there we go. Thank you, Maya. Sometimes Maya doesn't want to cooperate with you for whatever reason. Does it to me all the time. We'll make these flatter, of course, like we talked about earlier. All right, there we go. And then uh, we want to have the other one. So the other one, I'm just gonna duplicate this. These wrapped around twice, so to speak. Rotate it. We didn't rotate the, the pole or any of this stuff. We should have rotated all this stuff. We'll deal with that. It, it's going to mess everything up that we've done here. But it's not going to be that big of a deal to fix it. We'll be able to fix it relatively easily. There it is. Looking for the green one, and I couldn't find it. Let's see, we'll push this down. Have it switch here. Come on. There we go. that out a little bit so it's not so fat Now that we've kind of gotten those those in there, you can say, hey, well, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Okay, so one other detail I want to add on. You can maybe adjust some of these other details. Like you can come in here and maybe give this a little bit more oomph by going to vertex and pushing this vertex in. The split going down there longer. You got you to add a split onto the back or something. If you're like, hey, I like those splits. Let's add more of those. You can add, add them on to other parts. Stuff like that. I'm not going to waste a lot of time doing that. You can add them onto this pole too. Don't forget this pole. Uh, the, before we get into rotating this, I do want to show you maybe how you go about adding on a knot to this. We, where it crosses, we would add the knot, like over here or something. 
where, it, where it's going to cross. So you could do this, you could kind of do a cheap way of doing it by taking a torus and doing it. It's This isn't going to be amazing, but it will do the trick. Uh, we'll change this to 0 0.1 like it was for everything else, or was it 0 0.08? 0 0.08. And then your divisions, you could probably go with 8 by 8. You don't need anything too fancy. You're going to change your radius, though. You're bringing that down, of course. Oh, we'll do a 0 0.07 on this, make it a little bit thinner. I'm just going to scale it from this point. Press 3, you can see it's nice and round. So you get it to fit out there like so. And then take your edges and kind of, you know, get them to be squished in here. What we need to do first actually is duplicate it. Control D to duplicate it and then rotate it. You probably need a couple of these. So then go to edge here. And then go to the next one. We'll duplicate this. Just holding down shift, you can you can duplicate it by holding shift and then moving. And then we'll take this one here. Rotate it over. And move it into place. Take those faces there and kind of move them. Move this one into here, I think, and then and that means this one here. We'll have to take this edge and kind of move it down there. So there you go. That it kind of looks like you know, it's a knot now. Sorry, from a distance you might think, oh, that's where it's knotted at. It's a little bit too, these are a little bit too narrow. I have to scale them so that they match the same thickness as the um, the cords themselves. And that means we're going to have to do the edge here. They were way too thin before. That looks a little bit better. Still not thick enough to match. And then you would want to take and uh, make a cylinder. You could you then bring the cylinder down in size and kind of get it to be bring it to fit over here. We can adjust. We don't want to. I don't want to have 20. That's just a lot. Do the subdivisions on the height, maybe do like two or three, uh, maybe three for the ends here. And then the radius, um, 0.8, was it? It was narrow, definitely smaller than that. It was 0.5, we'll try. Uh, that's still too big. We can scale it, though. So...
And then um, we can duplicate it. As you can see, oh, we gotta. No, see, looks pretty good. And then uh, press W. You can do it with any of your your move rotator scale tool, but you want to hold shift and click and drag on one end of this or whatever, and then it, oh, it doesn't matter which end, the middle, whatever. And you can then you can have a duplicate of it, a clone. It's called duplicate special. There's more to duplicate special than that. We won't get into it in this class, but you do have another class where it's talked about in more detail. So take that in and then pull this up here, and then we can maybe make this longer down here so they're not exactly the same. There you go. All right, so that's basically let's let's that's basically it let's go ahead and um we can rotate this so like this right here needs to be rotated as you can see it's off and we didn't even slide it down so this could very well mess up our um uh not and how it fits yeah see this right here we have a face Move these down here. Okay. I'm going to move these in here. Get that edge and move it in. Get this edge over here. Kind of rotate it a little bit. And look on this side over here. It's all messed up. All right. So get faces. Press W or Q or something to deselect. Okay, I think we're good here. Scale that a little bit so it kind of there. And then you would want to take the whole thing maybe and tilt it over. So to do that, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to press Control G to group it. Go to the front view so we can see it a little bit better, and we'll just tilt it a little bit. And then I'll tilt the bucket back. And there you go. You can see this down here better, I think, if we turn off x-ray. It's pretty good. I'm going to get rid of the image plane. We'll do increment and save, file, increment and save. Took my 1 and changed it to a 2, and we're done. So you don't have to UV this, but uh, go ahead and do all those steps, and then you can submit it, and uh, good luck.